Alright, we're gonna have quiet on the set. We're all set. We're all set. Yep. So you're gonna bow us into the flat, just like regular class. Okay. Yep! Sir! Should the up face the flags, can you post on, sir? Should the up face mass of Trent though, can you post on, sir? Alright, William. Jumbi! Ready, sir! Okay, let's go over take a slow ready position. Position B. There it is, a high blue belt form. We're gonna go my count first. Ready? One! Very good. Remember, loud here, not too bad. And two! Very good. Now, don't go straight down. Go more on an angle. That's where the strike is going. Here. Right here. So. Make your X. Three. So. Don't look too far out. Make that straight. Nine degrees here. Four. Much better. Five. Six. Seven. One, then two. Make sure you stick this kick. Eight. Then two. One, then two. Make sure you really pull back the chamber and both get good reaction force. Next. Okay, this is a hidden twin elbow in the form. Now remember, this is the first time that when we do our mountain block or any of our block curriculum, Prep, then step. Normally we step, then prep. So this is like the weirdo. Ready? One, strong. Good, horse dance. Two. Three. That was a little higher with the elbows as high as your shoulders. Four. Two, nine degrees. That's better. Five. And then one more. Six. Yes, two one way, three the other way, then one. Two, three, one. 23 is number one. Elbows as high as the shoulders, straight line. Uh, in school, you learn nine, right angles. Mm -hmm. It's 90 degrees, so like a box can go right here. What's more than 90? Obtuse. Obtuse, and less than 90 is a? Acute. Very good, you'll do very well in school. So <laughs> tight fist. Now stay low, because you're in a horse stance, riding stance. Right leg to left leg together and prep for the double elbow up here and go forward to the back stand. Zoom. Now when you convert, remember you're blocking down here, move the front foot over and out for the head grab. Next. Zoom. Good now. Just like that. You're holding at the top of it here. Next. Yeah. Hey. Now what you did, not bad. The back stand is good in the some of the position. However, what I want you to after you do this, when you turn, make your prep here before you go into your guardian block. Don't just Ta-da! Swing your hands up. So go back to the head grab. From here, I want to turn prep into your into your block. Go. Hey! Not bad. Elbow down, restrict. Now, when you do your lead front kick, shift back the way. If you have, you can even pivot on the back foot and hold that stick. Go. Bring it up and here, and then zoom strong. Go back that chamber. Then you come put in next. Roll up, prep, zoom. Press straight, elbow down, sink. Then again from here, make sure you hold it and thrust, go. Mm -mm. Yep, you extended it too soon. Bring your knee up first. Whenever you kick, always bring the knee up first. The higher the knee, the higher the kick. Very good, so bring that knee up nice and high, strong. And then thrust. Try again, you kind of flustered there. So after you kick, hold and hold and thrust. Bring it up. Zoom, that was better, you have more control. Next, going to the swan block. Nice ending position. But where did it come from? The prep's here. So even if you're down here, prep first and thrust. Do not forget that. So let's go back to the swan block. Thrust up and then yeah. And two down from the prep. Yes, every technique has a starting point and ending point. Watch your thumbs. Where does it come from? Start and end. In between is your acceleration, your hip twist. Take the back leg and turn. One. Prep on angle, zoom. The hand goes up on this angle, contrary motion. This hand's down in front of the groin. Now convert front stance facing this way, 
scooping sidewalk face in the front. Not bad, watch your thumb. So when you make it a tight fist, the thumb goes here, not on the side, tight. Like you're holding a million dollars, let me take it. Don't let me take your million dollars, don't. Oh, see, now it's tight. I guess you don't want to give me your money. Huh? Give me your million dollars. If it was like a, if it was like an M and M, I'd hold it really tight. <laughs> Get the funny man. Now from here, step, step, prep, and zoom. Now be careful here. Front stance here. Scoop once. I want you to do your best to shift your weight and have the front stance face in the front for two, three. I'm gonna draw the right leg into your right hand's punch. Yeah. Make sure stay, don't come up, and pull back all the way. Full reaction force. Sitting low, and the punch is in the middle of the body. Come on. Slow. Thank you. So those are just those few points. Be aware of when you convert. Hold your weight back. Not too much in the beginning. Let the leg go, and you sink. But from a back stance to a front stance, you move the front foot how? On an angle. On a slight angle. Over and out on an angle to get that long front stance. Um, over here, on the conversion for the strike. Key a lab, but make sure you do the prep before you go into your guarding block. Stick it, and then wind up here. You're landing in a front stance. Back stance, kick into a front stance. Then on to repeat. Back stance, you're looking at the strike here. Now, key a prep before here. Any questions for me? No, sir. Take one step back. Yes, sir. All right, take it. Slow position. By yourself, nice and strong. See you. Hey! Go back to that chamber. One thing I thought of is after you go here, you put all your weight here, which is good. When you shift back, only your arms go here. Let your body go. Really thrust that power there. Let's see that. Low X. One. Come back and really throw it. Let's, let's hear that turn. Strike. Let's hear it. Bring it back in the arm and zoom. Yeah. That, that, you can see the power. You're inserting that power forward. That was really good. Let's jump over. This was much better. Now over here when you step, draw in the prep here. And I think for you, that will look much nicer. So why don't we go to the front stance, spear finger with the left leg in front. Step forward, draw, and then show them that guardian block. Yeah, do it one more time from the spear. From here, go ahead, step, zoom, thrust, zoom. A little bit, but I need that reaction force, I need that hip twist. So use the arms, okay? Jumping ahead. You know what you're doing here, right? From the double front block, when you turn, you know what you're doing? No! You know self-defense number seven? Yes. So do a hook punch. You're blocking, your hand's here. Now watch this, it's the same position. What am I gonna do next? Mm -hmm. I pick it, but I'm gonna throw you. So it's the same that you're here, and you're throwing the person almost. So show me that, you're here, you block. Oh, this again, sorry. Lock here and then just where you throw. So just like your self-defense, your forms are training you for your self-defense as well. And the ending was much better on the shifting of the stances. Excellent job on that. Thank let's you go. Sir. You're welcome, sir. Let's go to water on. Slow the shin position. See my count first. Now this first one I want in the armpit and straight line. Show that nice tension. Aim and tension. One. 
Good, you're stopping at the shoulder so I can't get to you. So strong two punches out here. Hey! Three. Not bad. Four. Now I don't want this to look bring a little higher. It makes a much nicer and cleaner look, so we're tied. And next, five. Draw. And sink it to. You don't have a, such an ending point here because it's not a technique. So let it flow a little bit. Pull, use that swoom, that hit for the horse stance. Yeah, you hear the snap. Next, draw into the L stance. Good big movement. And next, draw for next, low block. Next, that forward punch. Now a little too high. And pull that hand back for the chamber, reaction force. Go back to the low block. Aim and really pull, you're pulling rope. Pull the rope. That would be better, you can see it much better. From here, be dramatic. Bring it up and around, trapping, but keep the hand here. See how you dropped it? Do it again, what happened? You dropped the hand, keep it there the whole time. Pretend I have a, a um, let's see, like a metal rod going through your hand into the ground, so it can't move from this spot. Go for it, keep this bent. So when you bring your back leg to the front leg, all this can do is rotate, go. Bring it together, rotate, it's all you can do. From here, you hold for the side, go. Yeah. Hey. Landing in the knife, hand strike. That was bad, because what's happening is, go back, sir, go back to the punch here. Jump switch. Let's say I'm grabbing here, you're trapping. I'll do this thing, trap. You're coming together, now you're pulling and kicking me here, there's, oh, and then you're landing into the knife, hand strike here. Oh, two punches. One, two, and then you have all fights. Okay, let's go back to this punch. Let's see all together. Keep in the hand here. And the lower, too high. Maybe with the chest go. Zoom around. Bring it here. Together. Punch once. Strong. Twice. Head turn, turn, draw. Guardian block. Boom. Step forward in the spear finger. You can draw. Guard like the other side. Zoom. Don't wait too long. Turn the knee and pivot on the foot for the roundhouse kick. One. Two. Land guard back together. Nice synchronization. Front stance, low block. Back stance, punch, convert. So, two. Watch the back foot. See, back stance, the back foot points to the side. Like you make the letter L. So this has to face that way more. I know it's hard, but you can do it. Three. Has a control. Better. Draw off a four. So, Next, kill! Hey! Next, one, two. Into the garlic, open once. Finish it twice, kill! Hey! Come on, slow back to position C. It was named after a youth group in the early seventh century of the Scylla dynasty. There's only 29 moves to this form, and the 29 movements represent the 29th infantry division in which Taekwondo grew into its maturity. It's a little background history to it. So you want to make sure it's only 29 moves. You've had 38, 37. Really take your time with it. Give it some flavor. Give it the music. Hey, you know the music? Give it a little flavor. Give it some rhythm. So by yourself, water off. Get ready for your first tournament for the season. So ready, listen. By yourself, nice and strong. See you Is looking so much better. 
Continue working on that. When you do a back stance, what letter do you make with the feet? L. The back foot points to the side. And the front foot points front. to the front. So be aware of that, especially when you launch your guarding blocks. Like here, so make sure you bring a little wider than normal. Just make sure that back leg pivots for you so your ankle doesn't have so much pressure on it. And here, when you're here, you're readjusting your stance. Your round stance is much better. You weren't turning before, now you're turning. Laying that guarding block. I do like the synchronization. See how you do one thing in one form, it trickles over into another form. Turn into your little block. Make sure you really pull back that nice reaction force. When you're here from the elbow, drop this hand, pivot on the back leg. You pivot on the front like this. I want this leg to come around here. One, two. Okay? And then again, just watch the back stance for the ending. Not bad. How do you feel? Good, sir. Very good. Cheer up. Sir. Can you? Post on, sir. That's your zen for the day. Boom. Oh.